Okay, let's see what it can do. My setup includes a helping hand, the APDS 9960 sensor itself, and Arduino Una modified for 3.3 volt operation, as you can see here. The most interesting application is gesture sensing. The sensor can recognize six gestures up, down, left, right, and these two are a bit more tricky far and near. I'd like to see how fast it can recognize the gestures by waving my hand in front of the sensor. Hmm, not bad, huh? It hardly missed a single gesture. Now for proximity sensing. According to the specs, it should be capable of measuring distances from 10 cm up to 20 cm. Well, let's see if it can really do that. Right now, it's measuring a distance well beyond its rated capability. And the numbers we are seeing on the screen are maybe 2 to 7 or oh, even 8. That means any distance measurement from 1 to 8 can be trusted. Now, the sensor seems to measure some kind of weird proximity units and I'd like to see if they scale to real measurement units. 10 centimeters would be around 130 units. And 20? That's about 15. No, they clearly don't scale. Well, I seem to be getting reliable measurements up to 7 centimeters. And the farthest point? Yep, it's about 25 centimeters. What comes then is just noise. That brings us to the conclusion that the real measuring range of this device is 7 to 26 centimeters. That's about 3 to 10 inches. Now let's get to the next feature of this sensor, namely ambient light and color sensing. Color sensing seems to be the most peculiar thing about this sensor because I don't really know any of the shelf sensors that can do this. Right now our ambient light ometer shows the value around 600 units. Now if I light it up a little interesting. It seems to be able to put out values as high as 25,000 and then I'll shade it. 22, 15, 8 Well, it goes down as low as 8 units. Well, the resolution seems to be really high on this one, with values ranging from 0 to almost 30,000. Now, if I bring decently colored objects toward the sensor, like blue, red, green, it doesn't seem to give us any meaningful results. The values just drop. The problem with this simple approach seems to be that light bounces off the objects that are all around me with their own distinct colors like red, kind of bluish and uh, this makes for one hell of interference. To solve this problem I made a black box with a slit out of a simple cardboard box and it has one single white LED in it that lights up the slit and to use it we'll just have to press our object against the slit
Well, here is the fully assembled black box with an LED inside. And let's see if it really performs better. A strip of red heat shrink. Hmm. Well, it's distinctly red. Some blue magnetic thingy. Yeah, the value on the blue channel is really much bigger than the rest two of them. And some green lead. And that's how you get better at recognizing colors with this sensor. Just a simple dark box with a single LED in it. Thanks for watching.